This video is powered by USA Gundam. Visit usagundamstore.com and enter the code JOEY10 to receive 10% off your next purchase. Everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to what is probably going to be a very unique uh, unboxing slash review uh, for this channel as as you can see this is not a Gunpla this is a Dragon Ball Z kit or it's technically a Dragon Ball Super kit uh, I just recently finished Dragon Ball Super and it was completely amazing and I was on usagundamstore.com the other day just looking around and I stumbled across this kit here and I just had to get it. Uh, I've been a Dragon Ball fan since the early 90s. I really like Dragon Ball Z. And I really love Dragon Ball Super. I've really gotten into it. And as you all may know, blue is my favorite color. So of course, whenever they made a Super Saiyan Blue, I was all about it. And just so happens that the Goku was in stock. So I got it. So let's take a look at the box itself, what's in the box, and then I'll probably snap this guy together and we'll do a quick review. So first off, we'll take a look at the box itself. As you can see, the front box art, very beautiful, very colorful, very bright, vibrant, Super Saiyan Blue Goku charging at you, full force, really, really loving this art style on this box. It really catches the eye. Uh, as you can see, it says here, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Son Goku also referred to as Super Saiyan Blue Goku. This is a Bandai kit, and it's got a little thing here that, uh, you know, build the Ultimate Warrior, and it's kind of how the muscular system comes together, and still has articulation and stuff like that. On this side, you have a really cool little illustration of the kit in action poses, what it's gonna look like when it's all built, uh, different hands, different faces, Kamehameha pieces, stuff like that. I really like how it has like crack and foo and black and all that stuff on there. That's pretty funny. On this side, you got your choking hazards. This contains small pieces, blah, blah, blah. On this side, you have a little bio, it looks like, of Super Saiyan Blue Goku. You can read that at your leisure. Here, same thing, the swappable parts and good stuff like that. Other kits that you can find. Same as the front of the box. So that pretty much does it for the box. Really liking the box so far, but let's get it open and see what's on the inside. And with the box open, this is what you will be greeted with. The first runner, of course, is that blue hair. It looks to be in the, the metallic injection mold, it looks like. And it looks like eyebrows here, maybe eyes, and the faces, the two different faces, and maybe the neck piece or something. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, small little runner sticker, or little sheet of stickers. Um, I might try to see if they have some water slides. Uh, I do want to paint this kit up, so I might see if I can find some water slides. I really don't like stickers. Uh, looks like these would be for like the boots and stuff like that. Not really sure what these would be for, but those are definitely for his gi. Uh, let me know in the comments below if any of you have built this before and know if I can find water slides for this because that would be uh, preferable for me. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you know if I can find some water slides for it. That would be awesome. But either way, this is your first runner, which is the head and the hair. Second runner, we have the blue pieces, which is for the, you know, wrists, the boots, the belt, all that good stuff done in a nice, what looks to be royal blue. And you got some parts for an action base. Next, you will be greeted with uh, a lot of flesh color. Uh, you know, you got your arms, your chest, your hand, a uh, bunch of hands, it looks like, stuff like that. And on the other side, we have your Kamehameha's pieces. And then two runners in orange, which of course is going to be for the gi. And that's about it for the runners so of course that is the legs torso gi and then you have 
your manual done in that same artwork as the box. And with them all snapped up, this is what the Super Saiyan Blue Goku looks like straight out of the box. Uh, I did, just for the sake of the video, I did put a couple of the stickers on, as you see, around the feet. Uh, all this was just blue. The color correcting stickers uh, are the red areas around here, and I put the little one right there. And that's really all I did for the stickers. I will be removing them later. I don't like stickers, so <laughs> that's just a personal preference. But as you can see, it does look good. Just straight snap built right out of the box with the stickers on. There's no stickers for the face. That's all, uh, you know, molded in color. The eyes and the pupils and everything. That's all separate pieces, which is really cool. As well, I'll talk about the engineering. The engineering in this kit was actually really, really impressive to me considering how simple the build was. I think I built this guy in less than an hour and it was just because, you know, it is a pretty simple build. But as far as like the engineering goes, these two pieces, it just looks like two muscles right there, but that's actually a seam line, uh, you know, stuff like that. So the they actually incorporated the seam lines into the muscle to get rid of the seam line, which I thought was a really interesting and well-developed engineering point on the kit. I really do like that pearlescent blue hair that he has. It's really, really cool, especially when the light hits it just right. As you can see there, it really bounces off of it and gives it a really nice effect. I will, of course, be painting it later, but that's for another video down the road. All in all, in my opinion, really solid kit. I mean, <laughs> it's literally like putting an action figure together. He's that solid. He's not going to fall apart. Uh, so next we'll take a look at his articulation and the accessories. So moving right along to the articulation, we'll start with the head. The head can do a full 360. It is on a double ball joint. So there's a ball joint going up into the head and one going down into the neck. So he can actually move his head forward independently from the neck, which is a little weird, but it adds to the articulation. Uh, his neck can go forward and back. He does have an ab crunch and a back bend. So you can actually get a good range of motion out of that. You do have waist rotation. Uh, you can go all the way around, but I don't know why you would want to. The shoulders are actually on a swivel, so they can swivel forward to give you uh, a really good Kamehameha uh, pose or any kind of other dynamic poses you need. Arms can go up that far. Of course, they can go down. You have bicep rotation. You have over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. And the hands are on a ball joint, so they just, you know, swivel around. Nothing really at the waist down here. It's all done in the upper body. Legs can go forward really, really far. Back really, really far. And, of course, whenever you bend the knee, there's another panel that looks like pants that, you know, comes out to fill in that gap to make for a really, really nice knee bend. You do have a swivel below the pants where the foot goes into it. And then the foot has nice ankle tiltage, can move down, and can move up. So I guess the first accessory we'll talk about, since I literally just noticed it was sitting back there in the corner in screen the entire time, is the little Kamehameha, uh, I would say, charging orb that's meant to actually like go in between his hands and be in between his hands before he actually lets the wave out. So this would just be like the energy ball that he's kind of generating. It's just two pieces of plastic put together. Uh, there are two silver stickers on the inside. Uh, I mean, I guess it gives the kind of effect of something in the middle there. You don't really have to use those stickers. I just did it to, you know, show in the video. Those are definitely going to be coming off. But you do get this little energy orb. And then the second really 
really important one out of this whole thing is the Kamehameha wave. Uh, this thing is made of, of several different pieces. I think there's nine pieces in total going around this piece. And then this piece is actually made of two pieces. So quite a few pieces go into actually making this thing. And of course, it does come with its own little action base because there's no way of him actually like pegging his hands or anything into it to hold it. So of course, you incorporate the stand, which does have adjustable heights. You just take it out from where it's sitting. As you can see, you have little notches and grooves and you can set it to whatever height you really want and then you take your little Kamehameha wave and there's a little hole down here plugs in just like that and you can set it on the ground nest his hands around it and make him look like he is firing the Kamehameha. Next, they did incorporate a base adapter. So if you have any kind of action base that has a little port on it, you can plug this in. How this is meant to go is it literally goes up underneath his crotch and around his waist and holds him securely, very securely, just like that. He does come with two open palms and of course this is to nestle around say the orb or the kamehameha wave or you can just have you know one of them and it's pretty simple to do you just pop it off at the ball joint pop it back on and then you can you know get him into maybe something like that looking at there some kind of dynamic pose like that but he also comes with what I call instant transmission hand, which of course you can get him to put on his forehead. And there you go, he is ready for instant transmission. And the last thing to talk about about this kit is his alternate face. This is the, of course, face that you would use if he was doing the Kamehameha or, you know, powering up or anything like that. It's the more aggressive, uh, dynamic face. And in the back here, you can actually get a better look at what's going on here. The blue is actually the pupil. Up here at the top in front of the blue is the eyebrows piece. And then the eyes and the teeth are actually one piece down here. And the tongue, believe it or not, is actually a sticker. So that's actually a pretty well, well done sticker. And of course, to swap the faces around, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just remove this front little bit of hair, get underneath his chin, give it a little pull, comes right out. And of course, you take his other face, slide it up in there, get it into place. There it is. Then you take your little hair piece, put it back on the front, and there you go. Now he is ready to power up or shoot a Kamehameha or anything like that. So that's going to do it for this unboxing slash review of the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Like I said at the towards the beginning of this episode, uh, I do plan on painting this guy. So this won't be the last time you see this particular kit. Uh, I do have a couple plans in line for this kit, so tune in for that for a later episode. But as far as my final thoughts on the kit, it's a really fun kit. Uh, the engineering that went into you know, the design of this kit made it a really fun build. It didn't take incredibly long to build it, which also adds to the fun factor of it in a way. And, you know, the added accessories of the Kamehameha Wave, the Energy Ball and stuff like that, the extra faces, that's just more bang for your buck. They didn't have to put all that in there, but they did, and it makes it a more pleasant experience and makes it where you can do more with the kit. Uh, so, you know, with that all said and done, if you want to grab a Super Saiyan Blue Goku for your own, you can head over to usagundamstore.com. That's, of course, where I got this one. And don't forget to use my code JOEY10 to receive 10% off your next purchase. That's going to do it for this episode. A like and subscribe would be appreciated if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.